Hello guys, welcome back to another exciting tutorial. This time I'm back with uh, After Effect tutorial, and here is what we'll be creating. Okay, we'll be creating this uh, light trail. Uh, okay. Actually, I got the idea from <coughs> from sorry from A E Tuts uh, by Ben. Uh, he has got a really nice tutorial. I recommend you guys to watch this tutorial. Uh, he has used After Effects and Trap Code particular, so that's a third-party plugin. And I found a way uh, to do it without using a third-party plugin. So I thought of creating a tutorial. So before that, just watch this tutorial. You'll get all the ideas on how to create this. And I'll just give you a quick overview of creating this effect. Uh, let's say recreating without using any third-party plugin. So let's begin. Uh, I'm here in After Effects now. Okay, uh, I uploaded up my footage as well. Uh, it's a little low quality, on just 640 by 360, um, but no problem for doing a tutorial. Okay, the first step we'll be doing is creating our null object. Okay, and then position it right where our fingertip is. Then click our null object and press P on your keyboard. Then set time on uh, let's say set keyframe on position then we'll step by step press the paste down key and uh, hand track our finger you can also do uh, tracking but since there will be a little motion blur around this point so our tracker will may not be able to track it perfectly so I like to do hand track so you can just take your time and do a quick track nicely um, but I'll just go quickly as quick as possible so I'm very really sorry if uh, the track does not go good but just I'm just giving you guys overview uh, you can take time and track let me pause the video till I track it okay uh, I just did a halfway track to about a uh, few seconds okay so let's do just up to this only so let me just trim this comp okay trim so I just did it at just this frame so we'll have um, uh, the idea on what's going on okay so once that we have tracked our null object Next thing we're gonna do is create a new solid, okay, and make comp size just black color, okay, and then we'll be using a plugin called Write On, okay. So Ben has used Trap Code, and I'm just using Trap Code particular. I'm using Write On. It's uh, free, available within After Effects, so you guys won't have to worry about where to purchase that, okay. And the next thing we'll do is press the F4 key and then turn the mode to add so that we can see that. And then put the brush position to, uh, this is the brush position, so put it the same point where our null object's anchor point lies. So the anchor point of, of our null object is right there at this point, so put the position right here. And then next thing you're going to do is all click the brush position stopwatch then sorry let me make a little more space and then pick whip um, sorry the pick whip the position of null object so in that way we are linking our position of null object with our brush position of right on so what does it does is it creates this stroke Okay, so it follows uh, quite nice with our null object or let's say our finger tip. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want this uh, light to die out as it goes along. If you guys want this, it's okay, but if you want to, let's say, if you want to follow the end point along with your finger as well after a certain time, then we can do that by specifying our stroke length. So that's per second. So you can increase up that and then 
sorry okay let me go a little more and then reduce down to one second okay then you can see that after one second that stroke starts following it okay, okay that looks pretty good or maybe I will reduce it to 0 0.5 so oops, sorry about 1.5 so that it's a little more longer okay that looks pretty good the next thing we'll do is we'll um, add a glow to this glow to this okay and we'll choose a um, blue color okay and for B color as well kind of a little lighter blue okay and then we'll to glow colors I want to use A and B color so you can see a little bit of blue it, it's getting okay you can also play around with glow radius or around that but I think the default is pretty good okay now we'll add a light to our scene create a new light with a uh, kind of a bluish color okay uh, point light and then fall off I want it to be smooth and then OK. Okay, so our light does only affect 3D layer, so I want to press F key again and then turn our footage into 3D so that our light affects that. Okay, then we can move our lights a little back so that we have got just this point right in here. Okay, like this. And then what we want to do is link the position of our light with our null object. So all click the time watch and then pick with our null object so now oops sorry uh, let's see okay we'll just pick with our light with null object we don't need to just pick with the position we can just um, uh, link our light to our null object so now our light moves along with our null object okay so you can al also change the settings of our light if you don't like it okay we can also increase the fall of distance and radius okay and you can brighten up your scene as well okay you can reduce the radius or increase it as per your wish fall of distance as well you can reduce it down around like this and let me choose a few another color maybe around this one or maybe I will like to want it a little more bluish okay so it looks good uh, okay if you want to then you can also add in adjustment layers or you can add some more uh, hue and saturation or so on to our, your this layer where we have add in our right on so and you can give more look to it so for that you can also watch um, tutorial on a touch that I showed you previously so that's also great so you can watch that and I just wanted to show you guys how to do it without using any third party plugin so here it is uh, I hope you guys like it uh, okay see you then next time and don't forget to subscribe okay have a great day bye bye